Chong, welcome to my channel. I'm back with another Tex Avery Screwball Classic. Screw Squirrel, the Big Hill Whopper, released in 1944 by MGM, and it's directed by the talented Tex Avery, starring Sarah Berner, Bill Thompson, Wally Mayer, and Paul Fries. Film fact! We all do know that Paul Fries is known as a man with a thousand voices, but on very rare occasions, he actually appeared on camera, usually in minor roles. In 1954, he appeared in the film classic Suddenly, starring Frank Sinatra and Sterling Hayden, and also played a scientist in the Things from Another World. Animation history fact! Cartoon animator Tex Avery was working on the cartoon called Wild Hair in the 1940s, which was actually the official Bugs Bunny cartoon. The line, What's Up Doc, was actually added by Tex himself, and he said that What's Up Doc was actually quite common in Texas. Hmm, that's very interesting. <laughs> One more fact. Bugs' laid-back stance comes from the 1934 movie It Happened One Night from a scene where Clark Gable's character is leaning against the fence, eating carrots more quickly than swallowing. That is pretty cool. You learn something every day in film and animation history. Yes, learning is fundamental. <laughs> this animated short is about a Native American hunter who tries to win the hand of the chief's daughter by capturing an animal for his hungry tribe, but Squirrel Squirrel proves to be a tough opponent. Will he succeed? Let's find out. So y'all, let's jump right into anime short. Squeeze Squirrel, Big Hill Wata. Roll the clip, roll it, roll it. Big Hill Wata. Buck of the month. <laughs> Avery has some interesting songs, themes for his uh, cartoons. I love them though. The music is good. By the shores of Gipchigumi, by the laughing big sea water, neath the shade of mighty pine trees, dwelt the warrior Eel Water. A flat faced, digital toed, knock kneed, blubber headed tub of lard! <laughs> Oh, are you happy, Captain? <gasps> oh my gosh. But in the camp, there was much trouble. The big ration program budget. He sounds like Droopy. <laughs> he does. Big Chief Rain in face. Ah, sing in the rain. The <laughs> chief has just said the tribe faces a big meat shortage, and for the first hunter to return with fresh meat, he offers as a prize his beautiful daughter, Mini Hacha! Mini Hacha? <laughs> Okay, boys. Go and get it. Oh. <laughs> wow, they turn into wolves. <laughs> Indian wolf cub. Okay, more paints. Really? <laughs> In a cartoon, you can do anything. That's true, you can. <laughs> uh uh. They flee. Nobody wants to be near a skunk. Seriously. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Hey, hold it, Chief. <laughs> you gotta have a ration book to get the you down. Well, I got one. 
I love Scree. <laughs> He's going to drive him crazy. I'm so mad I could scream. Scream! And I will too. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all see this? <laughs> that is your scream? They're the same bolts. <laughs> Hard water. Could be coming, isn't it? My goodness. Okay. Hey, this is hilarious. <laughs> He does indeed. Soily does. <laughs> now I can't marry your keeps, pity daddy. <laughs> all right, all right. Shut up the blubbering. If you really want to marry the babe, you can have me. Here. You done good thing. Save him, tribe. Bring him back, he big squirrel burger. Now, you win a prize. Squirrel burger? <laughs> oh my gosh, ew. <laughs> Seriously, what's wrong with her? Come on, y'all. It's your daughter. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she didn't scare herself too. <laughs> the squirrel <laughs> this is the happiest moment in my life <laughs> she fooled him so good honestly i thought that was her face but no she was wearing a mask that is so cool but i think she did not really want to be with those guys she wanted to be with someone i think when she saw a screwy squirrel she's like yeah i'm definitely feeling him and that's when she took off her mask yeah one more thing i truly gotta say in the world of tex avery I think Red Hot Brian Hood and Spree Squirrel would actually make a cute couple. There's something about Spree Squirrel that really attracts Red Hot Brian Hood because she likes the bad boys if they're not too bad. Spree Squirrel has some charm, he's funny, and of course, you know, he likes to drive people crazy. So he has that kind of balance of cuteness and, of course, being on that wild side. So that's my opinion, but I definitely enjoyed this anime short. I'm feeling it. <laughs> This is my first time watching this Tex Avery anime short. It's hilarious, especially hearing Juppie's voice. I like the animation. Tex is a genius creating these interesting anime shorts. They definitely made me laugh. Truly unforgettable moments. 
I know Spree Squirrel loves to drive everyone crazy with his antics, but we still love him. But he wasn't as violent as he was usually in his other episodes. But otherwise, it was cool seeing you know being chilled and laid back. Y'all know what I'm like, what I'm seeing chilled and laid back. The Chief is an interesting character. There were some hilarious moments with him, especially when it comes to his daughter. Honestly, I didn't even understand a word he was saying. He did have a translator, however, this animation is very creative in its violent tone and some of it's hilarious, like chasing on the water. What do you guys think about this animation short? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chunk, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, I'll see you next time in the pictures. Cheers, and that is a wrap. Cheers, that's all for